Good evening, I'm Eric Thompson. Hudson Mack is off tonight. The family of a Canadian journalist killed in Afghanistan is speaking out. Michelle Lang, a reporter with the Calgary Herald, was killed yesterday along with four Canadian soldiers when their vehicle hit a roadside bomb in Kandahar City. Relatives from Victoria went to Vancouver today to be with Lang's parents during this difficult time. Astrid Brownsman joins us live with more. Astrid? Well, Eric, Michelle Lang's cousin met with us at the Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal this afternoon. Obviously grieving, the family hopes that Michelle will be remembered as a kind, caring person who loved being a journalist. In complete disbelief, Ellen Newman waits to catch a ferry to Tawasson to grieve with her cousin's family. Devastating. Ellen's cousin, Michelle Lang, a journalist with the Calgary Herald, was killed yesterday while on assignment in Afghanistan. She and four soldiers died when a powerful insurgent bomb exploded near their vehicle south of Kandahar City. The military has identified the four soldiers as 28-year-old George Miok and 21-year-old Corporal Zachary McCormack, both of Edmonton. 21-year-old Garrett Chidley of Cambridge, Ontario and 28-year-old Sergeant Kirk Taylor of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Lang was traveling with the soldiers, eager to tell Canadians about what was happening in Afghanistan. This is a really exciting career move for her, right? So happy she got to do what she loved. Saanich Gulf Islands MP Gary Lund spent a few days with Lang in Afghanistan while visiting troops and delivering Olympic mittens. Uh, we had breakfast together on Christmas morning and, you know, she was telling me about her family and her mom, how much she's worried about her. But uh, just a genuine, nice person, really committed to doing what she's doing. She obviously wanted to be there to tell the story. Prime Minister Stephen Harper released a statement today saying Lang courageously risked her life reporting from one of the world's most dangerous countries. And though Lang will never see the Facebook posts about her, friends across the country and around the world openly grieved on the site. She was going to get married this summer and we're all really looking forward to that. Um, she had everything going for her, right? <laughs> you know, she had so much ahead of her. She's just a wonderful person. She's going to be dearly missed. We all loved her. Now, Michelle Lang's parents, who live in Vancouver, flew home today after vacationing in Mexico. They were met at their home by several relatives, including Ellen Newman, who spoke with us this afternoon. Tonight, the Taliban is claiming responsibility for yesterday's deadly blast. Eric? Astrid Brownsmith reporting. Thank you, Astrid. You're welcome.